So now <laughs> the only thing I need to do is to press apply and we are done. The models are hollow. Hello everyone, welcome back to Blender for Dental en Español. Today I have a very short video, but very useful if you want to print models. We're gonna see how we can hollow the models using the, blend, uh, the model designer module. It's very easy, so this is going to be a short tutorial. The first thing you notice is I have two models here that are already aligned. I use the aligning tools here. If you don't know how to do it, please leave a comment below and I will make a tutorial for you. The first thing to do is to clean them up a little bit. As you can see, these are uh, plaster models, scanned plaster models. So I have to remove all those uh, imperfections and irregularities. <laughs> anyway, you have all the, the the keys I'm pressing and the mouse uh, buttons in the lower part of the screen. So you can follow along. I will press shift and H to hide everything but the model I want to work with. And then I will use the cursor to start removing all that uh, wrong, wrong stuff. <laughs> so I use the arch cut and that generates the, uh, this small line, this small tube. And I will move this tube using the, the, the key G and then I will press E for extrude. Extrude is uh, creating more geometry. So I will move along the model, working my way, being careful to just remove the parts I don't want and being careful to don't go through the model. I will show that in a second right here in this corner in this uh, back uh, molar this can happen because the shape of the model is is like so if I for example put my my point here my vertex there this tube is going to go through the model and that's wrong you have to follow the surface in order for this tool to work properly okay so I keep going it's very easy just pressing the, the key E for extruding I keep going and when I get to the last last piece last small uh, tube I just press the I just press shift and pick the the first vertex and then press the the key F to fuse you can also use here extrude and fuse to do the same thing but since this is a short tutorial <laughs> I will not cover in in depth anyway it's very easy actually so once I have everything in place I place I I use this key trim and both parts are now separate as you can see like this it is separate I choose any vertex on the part I want to uh, to preserve and then clean and everything else is uh, erased, is deleted. Okay, the same thing for the lower model. I will do it a little bit faster in order to, to make this video shorter. So here we go. Okay, it's done. Once I'm happy with my selection, I press trim and then clean for removing all the unnecessary parts. So now I have to create bases. That's very easy. I have my making bases tool here. Upper base will make an automatic uh, base in here. I can change the size with uh, this scale option and then move this arrow up or down in order to make it a little bit thicker but uh, usually the default size is okay lower base the same thing once I have the bases ready next step is to join both objects in order to use the hollowing tool it's very easy you can use this button or press 
control and J. And now both models are joined. So I have a, a solid model. So now I will use this tool, which is making hollow, hollowing tool. <laughs> I press the first button that is make hollow. Always in model designer, the tools are used from up to down, left to right. So first, first button is make hollow and this cube will appear around my model. That means we are doing just fine for now. Next step is to press um, any of these cutting tools that will make different shapes inside the model. I will use just the hollowing tool to make everything uh, inside the model disappear clean. You can try all those different uh, shapes, honey shape and all the shapes to see how they, they look. But hollowing just works perfect for me right now. Okay, so what I'm doing, <laughs> sorry I did it and don't explain it. I'm moving with this arrow, this small cube or rectangle whatever <laughs> this cube that will make everything disappear so this is a cutting tool and what I'm removing is the top part of the model but I have to do the same thing for the lower model in order to do that I'm going to the edit mode you can do it like here or you can press the tab button and with tab you go from object mode to edit mode once you are in edit mode you have to be aware that everything is selected as you can see everything is orange so that means everything is selected if for any reason you unselect something you press the, the key A and now you are good to go so now I will press shift and D to dupl duplicate this part the cutting part and move it down in order to constrain my movements to one uh, specific axis I press the key Z so for the Z axis and move it down once I reach the bottom of the model left click and it's going to stop right there so now as you can see the lower model is also hollow good so if I'm happy with that I press tab again going back to object mode you can see here and I I am seeing I'm watching a preview of the final hollow models so now <laughs> the only thing I need to do is to press apply and we are done the models are hollow however if you print this both models are, <laughs> are going to be fused so the last thing to do is to separate both models using this this tool which says separate objects and now I have again a lower and an upper model and that's it very easy <laughs> and we have a very clean model ready to be printed very easy okay so I hope you enjoyed this video it was very short but very useful if you want me to do a more extended tutorial on this or any other topic please leave your comment below if you like this video leave your thumbs up thumbs down if you don't like it and subscribe to the channel that is free and <laughs> helps me moving this thing so see you next time in my channel blender for dental en español <laughs>